Hey there, Internet. So here I am at AW 2019. It's the Augmented World Expo. It's the biggest AR event in the world. Tons of companies here. Today is day one, so this is just a press preview. Tomorrow they're open up the Expo Hall. She's been practicing a little more. I just picked this up just now. Oh, my God. really, actually. Yeah. I'm trying out the viewpoint system. It's a gaze-based sort of AR mixed reality. But this one's not working. Oh, but I look cool, right? I mean, that's that's the real reason I want it is to look like I'm a cool person in this part, and it just kind of pops out. Yeah, how do you? Don't break it. No, you can't break it. It's very stable. What I'm currently wearing is um, broken glass, and it's our first generation near eye display, uh, which is AI. Powered um, and it is a fully standalone unit with a battery that lasts around five hours. The cost of this unit is uh, $1,200 per unit, and then there are volume sales discounts for our specific partners as well. Um, the enterprise and, and companies that are targeting, targeting enterprise use cases, it's, it's, it's always functional. And the companies themselves might have more of a military background, a more uh, industrial focus enterprise mm -hmm. background. We have a consumer technology background. So what we're doing is we're developing uh, technology solutions that, that feel appropriate for people. So I think one of the main things about this product and all of the use cases that it has is that it is always assisting a human in some capacity. It doesn't have any cameras in the front. Though. It does. It has an RG, a front-facing RGB camera. What is the R? The red. Uh, 13 megapixels. What is the name? They're pretty cool. I mean, I was telling him, like, I could actually picture, like, a Kim Kardashian or someone wearing these because they're so comfortable. I'm going to guess the retail price. So the guess that I have on the retail price is $900. <laughs> It'll be lower than a thousand. I knew it. Let me explain the setup a little bit. So what you're seeing is Unreal Glasses compared to a smartphone. This is a Black Shark uh, team commercially available game. So Can you vary what I did the as a first scan the table, uh, and where the contents are on the table, uh, what you're seeing is a knowledge of different use cases. Uh, so this guy right here, he's a famous, he's a K-pop singer, yeah. right? This is actually a Chinese pop singer. Chinese pop, I'm so sorry. Don't worry about it. Are you? <laughs> Alright, so we'll be here uh, for FBX, we'll be able to plug them easily into the community and use that as a table to all of them. What's the model? What are you calling? So there are people like fighting, they're jumping around. Yeah. And what is Real the field light? of view? It seems like it's all in this 180 yeah. direction. Is that it's correct? Uh, it's 52 yeah. degrees field of view. Can I help you here? Oh, thank you. I put it around like that. Cool. This feels just like a regular pair of glass. Exactly. So it's a very uh, light, transparent, 5,000 nits to the eye outdoors. So it does run outdoors. Called DigiLens. DigiLens, yeah, yeah. DigiLens. Uh, DigiLens. Find, find out more information about them online. Really cool. So our technology is mainly the optics. Yeah, so like human eye, actual human this eye. This is a uh, human eye resolution on the VR. And there you go. <laughs> that is so trippy. Yeah. Hold on, can you look over at me, sir? Yeah. Oh my goodness, you see my camera floating in space there. That's really awesome. Uh, the light system that we're uh, infrared light system that is going to be making it easier. It's so trippy. Even being on this side, it's kind of surreal. So that's actually possible now with the hand occlusion. Yeah. And this is just the uh, first steps. We are going to. We are not actually utilizing all the hardware. We have infrared uh, depth sensing hardware in the building to the headset. I can see what it is yeah. 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 I can see that I trim my nails this morning. Yeah. It's like truly amazing. The one okay, thing I can show yeah. So the camera inside of this is 12 me megapixel to get stereoscopic depth out of it. Um, how much does it retail for? So the VR headset itself, uh, without the XR module, is for sale for $6,000. Wow. And it's an enterprise Windows product. And then this one, we haven't announced the price one yet, but it's, a, it's called the XR1 yeah. developer edition, so it's like, uh, uh, you can buy it as it is.
the VR1. So it has the VR1 with the movements, but also the expense that's out there. So it's going to be $6,000 plus the price of that in order to pull that off. But it's truly incredible next level immersion. Thing. So cool. So he's basically controlling the inside of a fighter jet. It's great. Alright, so that's the end of my video for today. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope I earned that subscribe. Can't do it. Can't do it right. <laughs> Alright guys, so that's the end of the video for today. I hope I earned that subscription. Hit that notification button to stay up to date on the latest videos. If you have any questions about all this amazing conference, any companies that I filmed today, write me a question in the comments below. And have a great day. See you in the next video.